So as we know, the central retinal, uh, retinal chloridopathy is a macular disease. It uh, affects the vision of young adults. For the treatment of CSC, half dose the PDT is an effective, ex safer, and expensive therapy. It's not the first line treatment in China. Conventional laser is an effective looting method for CSC, but it may damage the RPE or auto retina and may cause paracentral scotoma and other complications. Micropulse laser threshold laser treatment has been used for CSC. However, the parameters used was controversial and the location was different. Some on the uh, fluorescent leakage, some on the spiritual fluid area, some on the ICGA congestion area. The randomized control control the trail with a subliminal laser for CSC has not been reported for our knowledge. So we did a prospective RCT for the treatment with subliminal laser. The purpose is to compare the efficacy and the safety of 577 nanometers subliminal laser with conventional threshold laser in CSC to observe whether the subliminal laser is non-inferior to conventional laser in CSC. This is a study of our study design. The, the 88 patient diagnosed as CSC with frozen angiography was included. Uh, the, and then randomized one to one into two groups. Half patient get the subliminal threshold laser treatment, and another half is a, a conventional threshold laser treatment. The patient was follow up at three, seven, and twelve weeks. So, the primary efficacy outcome was the change of BCVA from baseline to week 12. And the secondary outcome measure was the proportion of the total subretinal fluid absorption and the changing in CRT in the baseline to week 12. And the safety was the laser due scarring was evaluated at week 12. This is the patient demographics and baseline characteristics. We can see the age, mean age is 44, duration 10 weeks, BCVA is almost 77 letters, CRT is 400. So the uh, over 75% um, over of the leakage at the ring two of the EDTI ring. So the only exception is more female in subliminal laser group. Method. The laser was performed under the guide of the frozen angiography. The, right, the left side it was show the subliminal laser. We can see the laser on the bigger area and with a more laser burn. And the left side is uh, always, always focused on the laser point with a fewer laser burn. The parameter for the subliminal laser was 165% uh, duty circle, 200 millisecond, and 50% threshold. Zero space. The totally of the num the totally the laser burn was one hundred fifty to two hundred. The parameter for the conventional threshold laser with a smaller support 
short time, and the uh, use the power was a threshold, one burn space. The total laser burn was 9 to 27. For the retreatment was given at 12 weeks, if there still has the uh, fluorescein active leakage with the secretional fluid. The primary outcome. From this picture we can see the vision was improved in both groups. In each group, the vision is slightly improved at week three and significantly improved at week seven. At week 12, the subliminal laser group, the vision improved is equivalent to conventional laser group. At week 12, The secondary outcome the, for the SRF, the proportion of the uh, SRF totally absorption was 47% and 50% at week three. And at week 12 was around 66% and 82%. Although the proportion of the SRF absorption was lower than the conventional laser group, but it's not, there is not statistic significant difference at week 12. For the CRT, we can see the CRT was reduced dramatically from the after treatment at week three to week 12. There was no statistically significant difference at week 12. For the safety, at the week 12 with the evaluation for the funders imaging in the subretinal special holder laser group, no laser induced scarring was detected. Only mild RPE depigmentation in, three, in five cases was noted. In the conventional threshold laser group, laser induced scar was found in 13 patients. There, the difference was statistically significant. For the retreatment, there are nine patients still has the active fluorescein leakage <coughs> with subretinal fluid five in the subliminal laser group and four in the conventional laser group. The, re the retreatment proportion around 10%. The retreat retreatment rate was literally, the institute group is similar. In conclusion, subliminal threshold laser shorter the course of the CSC effectively and improve the vision acuity. Se Subliminal laser was non-inferior to conventional laser for improved visual acuity at week 12. Subliminal laser is much safer than conventional threshold laser for CSC. Less is more. Means. Thank you.